Uh, hi guys, there's something we need to talk about about the ant USDT. Now, this is quite shocking and this happening after I created about two videos on the crash of ant USDT. One of my subscribers reached out to me and recounted his audio, and it was so so devastating. At first, I do not know if I should blame him or not, but I know for sure that he's a victim. But then, what do you fall victim of? Some scams are not even worthy of our time. Like, I created a video, it's about two weeks ago. I created it uh, a week prior to the crashing date, okay? I never saw it coming. A lot of people have been trying to introduce the anti-USDT to me. I took my time to, to go through it. I reviewed it and I understand for sure that there is no any solid business or model behind coin shuffling that will guarantee you that kind of return on investment and even give you a referral commission for that matter. I created the video. A lot of people attacked the video. There's one guy in particular that sent a lot of messages to me, uh, messages that are very, very wrong to send out to people. Abusive and all of that, disrespectful, rude, uh, saying I do not know what I'm talking about. But a lot of that happened. Okay? Most of the times when I review platform, stuff like that come up. But let's take a look at this guy that reached out to me. I'm not going to show his chat because his pictures and, other, and some other uh, confidential informations are on it and I do not want to review that to other people okay it should be kept private okay you can watch this video I don't know I, I never took the go ahead from him before making this video because I know I'm not going to expose his identity so this guy invested over six hundred thousand dollars six hundred thousand dollars into ant USDT although it didn't start with six hundred thousand okay I think it started with about of 50,000 US dollars and he kept on doing it over time for about two months or thereabouts. He was able to flip it to about 600,000 dollars and that's about 300 million. Uh, I, 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 that is just that is, that is crazy, okay? That is crazy for anyone to keep such amount of money in a website that you understand for sure that this website is not genuine now. There are some definitions we must understand before we can classify a website as genuine or legit or a scam. A website being genuine doesn't have anything to do with the identity of who created the website. Okay, if they choose to uh, to identify themselves with the website, that shouldn't change our review. If they choose to stay anonymous, that shouldn't change our review as well. Because this guy is the only thing they use in entering Nigerians, okay? Because the only thing they use in entering us in Nigeria at large is because they have a face. They claim to have an office. They do conference all around. They move all around and show themselves that, okay, this is what we are doing. So this gives people a, a too much trust and hope in them. That, okay, these people are too legit not to deliver. And they've been paying over time. Because one of the comments one person sent to me, I could remember one of my videos, I think it's Adiye or something like that. I can't remember the name particularly. The lady said, why do you have to call this platform a scam? Is it that you invested and they didn't pay you? Now, from that point, I understand that people only think that once a website pays you once, then it is no longer a scam. Now, we see the case of Rapstarly that paid for almost eight months and went down with a lot of billions of naira and nobody is saying anything about it okay now we are used to accepting a bad ugly decision and accepting it as our fate and moving on but before you put yourself in a situation whereby you have to accept the ugly situation and move on with life try as much as possible to to avoid it in the first place i know times are hard this guy that lose six hundred thousand dollars about three hundred and thirty million I do not know where or how or how much is what, but I know for sure that that kind of money is enough to lift anyone out of poverty in Nigeria. Three hundred and thirty million naira. That money is enough to lift anyone out of poverty. Okay, and with good management skill, you may not have to actually worry about uh, your basic needs again for the rest of your life. Basic needs. I don't know how much he has in his bank account, but I know for sure that he's having a very very rough time very rough time right now uh, as uh, as a result of the investment that it got itself into so henceforth if you are going to invest into anything online if you are going to invest your money the first rule is invest an amount you can afford to lose okay if you have about one million in your account invest like one percent of it that's about ten thousand or thereabouts okay do not invest more than ten percent 
uh, of that money okay 10 percent of 1 million is 100 thousand now it will be so so uh kind of inadequate for you to invest a million into a platform that you cannot vouch for because because they are paying for two, for a month or because they've been paying for two months three months four months or whichever time at all okay it won't it won't really make sense now i've done a lot of investment on internet before and that is one of the reasons why i started this youtube channel called slow reviews to talk about the scams that uh, i've seen and how to detect these scams okay and to also make reviews of these platforms for you so that you can understand if this is something that is legitimate that you should engage in or it's something that you should stay away from okay so i've lost money over time even currently i'm still losing money to some platform uh i, I lose about twenty thousand naira to rough style although that is purely experimental i lose about fifty dollars so green gold they claim they plant uh trees and all of that the guy has a face uh adam durant and still he took our money and left and there's nothing you can do as a nigerian because most of the times we believe that once they are weibos in quotes once they are weibos and they have a kind of a physical identity like they are creating content and associating themselves with the brand then it is legitimate that is quite wrong now for example take a look at a royal q trading okay if you do not know about royal q trading you check the video on my channel and understand how it works we do not know the founder of royal q t today okay and a lot of people are making huge money from it because when you check the business model you understand that your money is going to be with hobby or binance which royal q does not have the rights to withdraw okay it's like kind of api once you do not give their api the access to withdraw from your binance they won't be able to withdraw simple as that okay so checking the business model will go a long way to helping you that following the brand identity alone okay please try to do that because a lot of people are losing money every time an investment or scheme crashes or go down the drain a lot of people lose fortune people like become fucked up and it's always pathetic to listen to short stories okay so we need to actually uh, do better for ourselves and stop being greedy okay stop being greedy a site is giving you one percent per day and giving you your money your capital and return on investment together you should know for sure that a day is going to come where you put your, your huge capital and you won't be able to get nothing back okay and these people understand this but they are still greedy because of that return on investment they went to take loans of millions just to put into this platform and get the money back now i got a lot of messages as well like a close friend of mine called me to thank me personally for creating this scam video about anti-usdt a week prior to its crash okay because after i created the video you called me personally and asked me why i made that video i told him my point of view how i think it's not secure and at some point they will have, they will definitely have an issue and he only has about four thousand dollars in the account and luckily enough for him or fortunately enough for him he was able to withdraw or, or withdraw everything remaining about just six hundred dollars okay six hundred dollars that six hundred dollars grew it to about eight hundred that's to show you how bad the platform is within a week you grow six hundred to eight hundred that cannot be justifiable so he was able to get his money out before the crash happened so you really have nothing to lose so yeah uh, whenever you want to invest next time please and uh, please try as much as possible to look out for yourself okay do not uh, follow the grid okay apply some common sense and do your due diligence okay before you invest into any platform so that will be it for now on anti usdt and we're going to move on to other platforms so thank you guys for watching and i hope you like this video uh, subscribe and also share with your friends so that they can be notified and stay updated on investments and happenings thank you guys and bye for now